Welcome to another Sims 4 video. Today I'm building this house completely for free. That's right, but I don't mean in-game budget. This house is going to be free in the sense that it's going to be base game only, so you can download The Sims 4 for free, play in this house, and you don't need to worry about anything else. So it's free for you, but not so much to sim. But I thought it might be fun to build a base game home again. It's been a long time since we've done a base game house. So we're gonna try and do something a little bit interesting. I'll try and keep it, you know, fairly budget conscious. So when you're starting to play, you don't need a lot of money. I'm gonna aim for a three bed, two bathroom house. Cause I think that's a really good small family home. If you're starting off, it gives you room to expand, but it's not so big that it's kind of overwhelming. So let's start with this wall. Uh, okay, not that wall. No, no, <laughs> let's go shorter. I kind of, do I want it? I want it a little bit higher. Yeah, but I don't want it off the ground. You know, this may be base game. Doesn't mean we can't do some terrain editing. So let's go ahead and do that. I kind of want to have the house on a hill. You know, just give it a little bit of presence. Not much of a hill, just, just a little bit. Okay, so what I'm going to do, so let's say bedroom. We're gonna be, let's do not super small bedrooms, but maybe smaller bedrooms. Like a three by three, that's pretty small. So I'm gonna do two bedrooms, bathroom. And then I think what I'm actually gonna do is have, maybe have like a living space back here. Maybe a little smaller than that, maybe like that. Yeah, so we got two bedrooms there. Then over this side of the house, we'll do like a larger bedroom. So then if we can do like a four by four, maybe. Or even a five by four. Yeah, let's do a five by four. Let's give, let's give a really big double bedroom there. Sweet. And then I wanna do a little central courtyard. That kind of seems to be the trend in a lot of houses I'm seeing lately, at least around here, where they have like this, they have like a hallway either side, then like, I don't know, just a little courtyard with a tree or something in it. It's, it's I mean, it looks cool, but to be honest, it seems pretty impractical, but this is Sim, so that doesn't matter. <laughs> so let's go with that. All right, how, wait, what's our budget at the moment now? 7,000 just doing this, this could be a lot. Uh, this is supposed to be a bathroom, by the way. Obviously, not great. Uh, let's see how we go. Let's see how we go. Let's first of all, let's let's try and roof this thing. I want it to look good. Now, the other trend lately I've been seeing is no eaves, at least not on the front. The side will have one, so it's like flat, flush wall. I don't know. It, it there's a lot of houses around where we are just being built that look almost exactly like this. I guess it's the hot thing at the moment. Okay, this is what I've ended up with, which I don't know, it's still not the best, but I think given the lot size and also the budget, which ideally I'm trying to shoot for a starter home budget. I don't know if we're gonna get exactly 20,000. Also, cause if you started with three or four Sims, you actually get a bit more money than 20,000 anyway. Uh, but this is what I've got. So we've got two larger bedrooms now, which I think is probably better. We've got three by four, three by four, and then a two by three bathroom here. And then this will be like another living space, which I guess you could also turn into a bedroom if you wanted. And then this is like kitchen dining here, and then the main bedroom and ensuite bathroom. And then we've got this sort of entry hallway area, a little kind of awkward shaped, but I think it could look kind of cool. And I think I'm gonna also maybe get rid of the eaves because it does look kind of goofy. And then I'm gonna do in the middle here some half, oh, the problem with half walls are so expensive. How much did that cost me? So look, we're at seven, four, 10 now. If I do another little section, oh, 100 bucks. I, mean, I know it might not seem like a lot, but if we're trying to save money, <laughs> it's a lot. All right, let's just neaten up the edges of that. I think I'll do black, mate. Whoops, black maybe, or maybe what? You know what? That's also the trend lately. It's like a really, like there's so many like people, I've even seen people like repainting their houses, at least here. And they're like fully white. They do like a white, uh, like color bond ceiling, which actually, not ceiling, roof. I don't even think we have, oh wait, actually, ah. Oh. I was like, we do have it, but that's in Eco Lifestyle, which obviously I don't have installed, but yeah, they'll do like a white color bond roof, which I guess I'll just do this kind of gray one. Actually, is that lighter? That's lighter, yeah. That's as wide as we're gonna get. And then they do like a white brick, which I think in fact we do have that, not that one. Isn't there another one that's better? This one. Yeah, this is kind of almost exactly like what I'm seeing being built here lately. And I know I've built a house like this sort of semi recently too, but there we go. All right, wood options. I'm not gonna use, I do have some custom content still installed. I'm not gonna use that though. So obviously you guys can still download it on whatever platform you're on. And I guess this one will be wood. And I think the middle would probably be the same. So let's just do that. Yeah, oops. Yeah, I'm happy with that. And then the edge of the foundation, I'll just do this flat sort of white one. I'll probably neaten up the, uh, the the terrain later. But yeah, that's kind of a basic house that I'm seeing built everywhere at the moment. $7,800, actually not too bad. Do we have that gravel flooring? Yeah, here we go, this one. Let's put it in this section. Maybe more like that, yeah. Cool, all right, well, let's figure out the rest. So, oh gosh, base game doors and windows, here we go. Probably, honestly, that door would be the best for this build. Annoyingly, the, the white is still like this really wood texture to it, which I'm not really a fan of. Let's just go with it for now. It's it's probably all right. All right, windows. 
Not a lot of choices here. Asymmetry is in at the moment. Gonna do the same over here. Yeah, that's the fashion. That's the style at the moment. And I'll just put one of the double windows there because there's no three wide window we have that would work in this sense. So we'll do that. And then the sides, probably smaller windows, but we don't have smaller windows that are kind of like, I guess I'd have to use like these or these. Actually, we could probably stack these, can't we? These actually might look kind of cool stacked. I've not tried it before. You know what? I reckon we can work with that. Um, all right, so this is the bathroom. I'm gonna put these maybe in the center. Actually, no, because that'll be annoying because I got to figure out, well, the door to the bathroom there, maybe like a toilet, sink, shower, you know. We might need to move where these windows are just based on what we put into the bathroom, but we'll start like that. You know what? I actually kind of like that. That actually looks kind of cool because it kind of looks like this, but not vertical. I mean, well, yeah, you know what I mean. I just don't like this window. I don't like the vertical. If that this was flipped 90 degrees, it'd be so much better. It's kind of like this, but these windows have like, well, first of all, it's a way bigger window. And also it has like the inner trim, which I also don't really like. This just looks a lot cleaner, at least in my opinion. Now for this is a bedroom and this is a living space. I don't think I need any windows here because I'll put windows here and here. And then that'll be like the TV wall. So only this room also needs windows, which is a bedroom. So I think if we, we could do like a bigger window here maybe, or should we do the same? We probably should do the same, otherwise it might look weird. We could do two of them though maybe, or should we try with one? It's actually not too bad, it's kind of bright. Oh, also that's a little wrong there, there we go. Cool. All right, so then yeah, these, what I was thinking is we would have, uh, well windows, I guess right up to the edge there and there. And then if we can get a door, oh, we don't have the nice big sliding doors. I'd love a big sliding door right on this end, but we don't have it in base game, that's okay. We could use one of these, kind of ugly, but I think that's our option. <laughs> yeah, I think I have to use that. Not not really what I want to use, but that's okay. And I'll do another window there. So then this has got plenty of light in it, and it will be the same as this side, actually, what I want to do. And window there. And then this is going to have windows all down this side, I guess up until that point, which is a little different to this side, but don't worry about it. Uh, and then this will be like the kitchen, dining area. This will be like a living room. That's my plan. We have... $12,000 on the budget right now. I think we can do this. Now we only need windows here. I mean, we don't need windows here, but I, I think I'm gonna add windows to this bathroom just so we have some light in here, like so. All right, this looks good. I think we got some good lighting in the house. Got the layout I want. Let's start furnishing. Well, not furnishing, let's do the interior. I love using this wooden floorboard here because it's got a lot of different colors. This is one of my favorite. I feel like I use this one all the time. Yes, very nice. And then the bedrooms, you know what? I'm feeling generous. I do I do uh, floorboards a lot in bedrooms these days just because that's what we have in our place. But I think, you know what? I'm gonna do carpet. I'm gonna do a darker carpet in the bedrooms and then the bathrooms can have, um, what about this just concrete white? Not ideal, but could be an option. Oh, I could use this one for free, actually. If I'm gonna do that, might as well use the free one. Zero dollars, construction quality concrete. Let's just do that for now. I might change it. All right, wallpaper. Well, if I'm doing contemporary, you know I'm just gonna do a white wall, so let's go. Oh, I should probably, okay, that's good. I'm happy with the inside. I should probably build like a little deck out the back here, which is what I want. So let's do this. There we go. And I'm gonna drag it along. And then that's gonna join this section here. Yes, that's good. And then I think I'll put it, should we put it on like stilts? Or do I want it more like solid? I wouldn't mind a solid one, but I kind of want it to be like wood, but the only like sort of wood one we have is this lattice one, which I don't really like. I might just use that edging. I don't mind that. And then I kind of, yeah, I just want like an outdoor decking. Maybe not that dark, maybe light, the lighter one on here. Maybe that one's better actually. Yeah, yeah, let's just do that then. Yeah, I'm happy with that. I'm not super happy with these doors, but I think that's the one I have to go with. And then here, I really want it to be that gravel because this is just like a landscaped area. I believe there's a terrain paint of that. Is there? I think it's this one. Yeah, it's the same texture you can see, but it's just got a little bit more contrast. Now, if you get a situation like this where it's not painting there, if we just remove this section for a second, paint it, put it back, you can see then it goes straight up to the edge. So that's all good. All right, so yeah, that's just a little landscaped area which we'll sort out soon. Sweet. All right, lighting is just gonna be the basic subtle sources. I always use these and I think they work very well. The bedrooms, I'll just put one in because we could also add some lamps if that's, we want a little bit more mood lighting, you know? All right, that looks pretty good to me. That seems like enough light. How much money we got? We got 14,755, 775, sorry, to do the rest. We need doors, obviously. We have not done that bit yet. <laughs> Probably should. Now the cheapest base game door is a uh, bathroom door. <laughs> So we could use that, but I think every single swatch has the bathroom icon on it. So 
Not super useful. We also have the glass door, which is 50. Uh, there's also this door that's 50, but it's a little bit stylized for this particular build. Um, yeah, it doesn't really... Well, I mean, there's that one, but I mean, it's a little... I don't think it's a great interior door. At least not for this build anyway, so let's not use that. I just had to use this $90 door. Just, uh, it just doesn't look good, does it? It, it? It's that wood texture. If it was just plain white, kind of like a melamine kind of door, that'd be great. I think we're gonna have to use this one. 300, oh my God, I can't believe this door is $300. We don't need a door here, let's just get rid of that. So this whole area is just one open space, that's fine. <laughs> so we can save money there. And then the rest, oh my gosh, okay, how much is this gonna add to my budget? Oh my gosh. The value is just gonna shoot through the roof. Alright, uh, we're at 16,000 now. 14,700 up to 16,000 just from doors. It had to be done. All right, let me let me do these bedrooms real quick. Okay, I'm trying to do this on a budget, so this is all I've got. It looks pretty plain, I'm gonna be honest. Also, remember, base game. But we're at 18,000 small ends, guys. This ain't gonna be a starter home. Well, at least it's not gonna be under 20,000. But I'm still trying to keep it fairly modest. I'll do my best. Uh, but yeah, you know, it's pretty basic. I wanted some little decoration in here at least, so I think we worked out okay. The only thing I don't really like is the ends of these curtain rods. If it just was plain, it would be so much better. But other than that, I quite like the way those curtains look. Uh, even from the outside, I think that adds a lot, like the this curtain coming in there. I think it looks great. Inside, a little bit a little bit harder to get right, but um, I'm happy with that for now. So I'm going to do the ensuite bathroom, which unfortunately we're going to have to make it as cheap as possible. <laughs> no, here's our beautiful bathroom. It's really just the cheapest stuff. And I did some tiles on this side, at least where the shower is. A uh, little toilet and a toilet paper roll, and that's kind of it. Because we're at 19 grand, all right. We're gonna, we're gonna have to try and save some money here somewhere. Jeez, these beds, I honestly, they got like the worst colors in them. They're so, they're either like neon colored, like this blue, and oh, sorry, this pink and this blue, or they're just really dull. Or they have like bizarre flannel sort of patterns to them. I might have to go cheaper. Let's let's do a kid's room. Maybe this one can be the kid's room. And then this one, maybe I'm imagining as like a teen's room. So they got a sweet loft bed. I don't know why that would make it a teen's room, but I don't know, it's just kind of fun. I reckon a loft bed would be sweet. I've just copied the beautiful bathroom from the other side of the house. I mean, look at this. I mean, I'm not copied it, but I copied all the items. Uh, yeah, it's stunning, isn't it? <laughs> Let's do some tiles on this side here as well. All right, well, we're over the 20,000 budget. Let's Let's just check. How much a family, let's say a family of four, because you know, go to double and two single rooms. Let's see how much money you actually start with. Okay, so we start with 26,000 simoleons. So that's what we're shooting for. We still got a few thousand. All right, you know what? I think we can do this. Let's get the other basics in before I start adding more to the bedrooms, because we need a kitchen. <laughs> and thankfully, a while ago, they updated this base game kitchen set, uh, this really cheap one with a whole bunch of colors. So. That actually makes it look a lot nicer and it's still really cheap. But I think I want this probably just down this wall like that. And then I was gonna do like a fridge maybe here. <laughs> Such a, can we at least use this fridge maybe? And same with it, we're gonna have to use cheap, cheap stoves too. <laughs> I don't think we can afford any better, unfortunately. Whoa, what the heck? Hello? Oh, whoa, <laughs> that's okay, right? Uh, you know what, I'm actually gonna put this here because I need a sink, which I think I'll put there. Yeah, look, it's not ideal, but it's all right. I could put a dishwasher in, but I think I'll just go with the sink and then we'll do like a dining table here. And if I can afford it, I'll do cabinets. I'm not going to do cabinets now in case I can't afford it. <laughs> we'll leave that. But let's get a bin because we definitely need that. Uh, $110 for this one, which is the nicer looking one. So let's try that. Now, dining table. This one by Hey Harry. I love this table. Does this kind of... Oh yeah, this will work if we put it here for sure. We got room. And the chairs for it, 135. Can we get away with that? Because this whole set is super nice. Yeah, that's nice. It doesn't quite match the floor, but I'm okay with that. I might just move it a little bit off the window so it's not smudged into the glass. Look, it's not exactly how I'd probably want to do this. If we had more money, I'd maybe design the kitchen a little bit different. Um, but I think that's okay. Like, honestly, if the house is bigger, like I'd make the house bigger and probably have the kitchen more tucked over here rather than like that, but, but it works. It works. All right, we've got like $1,500 left for everything else. <laughs> We might need to cut back maybe on the dining chairs. We could get cheaper dining chairs for sure, but we'll, we'll see, we'll see. All right, we want at least four seats in the, the living room. Well, yeah, because we need at least somewhere for everyone to sit, right? It's a little big for the space. I guess this doesn't have to be there. I could push it back further. Maybe this should be here actually. Yeah, look, I think the eco lifestyle, I think it is a big sliding door would probably make a lot more sense here than having a swinging door like that. Because then you could have it there and the door would slide open on this side and it would kind of make a bit more sense, but it's okay, let's, let's we'll be fine. <laughs> 
All right, well, the TV itself is so expensive uh, that I'm thinking maybe we just don't have one, I guess. Like if we want like a TV that makes sense, it'd be this one or like the one on the wall, ideally. But that's $2,600, that's way over budget. So we could just do like this, we could do like a small one or we could just not, you know, leave this room for you. I think I gotta get rid of that. That's not working, is it? That's just horrendous. I, I think I either have to just do this chair or maybe actually, what about this one? Maybe, oh, you know what? This actually might work. That's kind of cool. How much is it? 200 bucks? It's kind of cool. It could be like a, a feature chair. I don't, look, I don't hate it. I don't love it either, but it's okay. I think it's better than the other couch. All right, I need a rug that's cheap and looks good. You know what? Why don't we just do carpet? Honestly, I think something like this will work. Maybe not that one, but yeah, just like a carpet I think will be best. Kind of cool, but I think the color's wrong. I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> maybe just like a darker, like just a carpet carpet. I mean, that looks that looks all right. I think we maybe need, because because we're not having a TV, I think we maybe need, I might do what I did in this bedroom, get the paneling on the wall, just so there's something, because it just looks really plain. So is there a better table we could use here? Or maybe like a buffet kind of table, like one of these. Oh, actually this might, how much is this? 260, this might be a lot better. Yeah, because you could, I think, can you put a TV on that? Yeah, you can. You can actually put a TV on it. Or of course you could just mount one on the wall, but I think that might look a little bit nicer. All right, 25194, should we get like a, we need like a plant or maybe like a lamp or something in here. Could use like one of these maybe. Might be, this might be nice over here, hundred bucks. Maybe more like here. You know what, we need more, how much are these curtains? 200 bucks, oh, that's rough. We can probably get one. Okay, not there, cause it's sticking out the wall. Hang on, get one there. Yeah, that helps. Okay, I, I won't have this light, I'll get rid of that. I do think we need like green or something in here. It's really, look, I like sort of white, but we need some color. It's a bit random, isn't it? But <laughs> it has to do. What about this classic base game? And then we'll go different color pot, probably. Maybe like the blue, cause it kind of goes maybe. I don't know, let's just do that. Look, it's it, it looks nice, very simple. All right, well, I've got a few hundred bucks of the bedroom, not ideal. Um, can we afford a desk? Cause we don't actually have a desk in this house. This one's 550, oh, that's a table obviously, but I, I like it, but. It's too big. Also, that doesn't actually snap under that, I just realized. Cheapest desk, $300. I don't know if I can, I don't know if I can justify that. <laughs> That's a lot. It is a lot. You know, something we don't have in this house is a bookcase. That would probably be useful. Or at least like these things, $60 books, there you go. Now you can read, you can read using those. We also don't have like anything fun in this house. Like no computer, no TV. <laughs> uh, so <laughs> we probably need something fun. Uh, okay, I might have to start cutting back on stuff. Maybe we change these chairs. I like these chairs, but I think they gotta go. They're too expensive. $50 chairs. Uh, these do not look as good, but we'll go with those. All right, that saves us a bit of money. Cheapest computer is $800, which we can't afford, so. <laughs> I guess books give fun. Ooh, the telescopes give fun, except that's $750. Um, hmm. Well, I do think a desk would be useful. Whether or not we can afford a computer, I think that'll be good. How much are these dresses? $400? Ugh. <laughs> well, I'm gonna get one in the kids' room. It's very blue in here. This is kind of where it's falling apart now. I'm, I really want to hit our budget. Like, really bad. I'll get a toy chest, so at least a kid can have some fun. We're definitely over budget now, though, as you can see. All right, let's get rid of this thing. It's nice, but it's gotta go... Oh, that's not enough. Uh... Uh, uh. See, the table version of that is cheaper, but it's not technically a desk. And what that means is it doesn't actually fit underneath this bed, which is annoying. But let's get a cheaper bed. Let's save 300 bucks by getting one of these. Sweet guitar bed, let's go. I mean, I guess I could put it here. It's not even a desk, it's a table, isn't it? Yeah, it's a dining table, but that's fine. Still works. All right, should we do different colors maybe for the kids' rooms? Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is like the blue room. <laughs> Uh, you know, I don't really want to do that. Maybe just a decoration. Yeah. Matt, let's like somehow match this kid's posters perfectly to their interior decoration. <laughs> Great. <laughs> That'll do. All right, well, you know, I quite, to be honest, I actually really like that living space. I think the kitchen has a lot of potential too. Obviously we don't have the money for it, but I think that's pretty good. Um, the main bedroom actually, all things considered, is pretty good. I, I would like to do more, obviously. We can't afford it. Um, but we do have three bedrooms. We do have two bathrooms. We have a kitchen, living space. You can kind of have fun with the books. <laughs> That's about it. Now I do need to try and finish the landscaping and look, we don't have a lot of money for that. So what I'm gonna do first of all, is we just need to smooth this pathway at the front. Uh, just slope it up maybe. 
Or, no, I can't afford, I was gonna say stairs, but I can't afford stairs, is a slight problem. Uh, <laughs> so, it's gonna have to have a nice little, that's actually pretty good already. I think that's all right. And then, let's move that bit. I kind of want the edge of the house to not have that little corner there though, so. Might just bring that up. Same on this bit. I think it looks a little bit neater without that. Oops. No, no. Yeah. And then we can just do our gravel uh, that we had out the back and on the roof. Oh, actually, how much? Oh, no. How much does a bin cost? Ah, oh, 220. That's too much. <laughs> Dang it. Uh, the post box, I'm pretty sure it's free, which is good. But we could use one of these bins, which is cheaper. Uh, look, it, it probably doesn't make a lot of sense in a residential home. It's definitely like a park bin, but it's a little cheaper. It means we only have to make up $12 somewhere. <laughs> it's look, it doesn't make a lot of sense, but let's just let's just roll with it, okay? Wow, this really ruins the look of the house, doesn't it? Can we put these somewhere else, maybe? Well, the bin could go out the back. It doesn't actually need to be out the front. We could put this around here somewhere because the kitchen's just here. But we could have like an outdoor bin out the back here somewhere. We do it like around the side of the house. So I think a sim can step down that because it's only one step, and then we could have the bin there. So then when we take some nice beauty shots of the house, so it's not like right in the shot of the house. <laughs> yeah, that looks better. <laughs> It's just that. We'll, we'll play test, but uh, I think that'll work. All right, then the mailbox, I think we'll still have to be at the front. I mean, it doesn't have to be, but it'd be a bit weird to have it around the back. We could just use move objects and put it more like here. I don't think anyone will actually be able to walk up to it. Like, I don't, well, we'll test. I think it'll be all right. Not ideal, but you know, we'll go with it. Now, I would like trees, but we're already $12 over budget, which I already have to save somewhere, uh, which I guess maybe this thing has to go $78. Or maybe these books actually here, yeah, $45, yeah. So that is in budget. I think what we're gonna do, seeing as we already entered the debug cheat, let's go debug. So this is all stuff that uh, your sims either use in gameplay, so you can see like a lot of pans and stuff that they'll use while cooking, or stuff we'll see around the world. Um, and what that means is a lot of it's just free because they don't have assigned pricing. So we can get some nice like trees and stuff. I want like a tree in the middle here. Oh, maybe this, like, yeah, just, oh yeah, this will work. Yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, that, that works, sweet. So we got that tree in the middle there, which I think is quite nice. Then around the front, I don't want much, I just want like something. Ooh, I kind of like this, to be honest. I feel like that's kind of got a vibe to it. I would definitely like to do more, <laughs> but we don't have the money. I mean, out here would be a great like barbecue spot too. All right, well, I'm happy with that for landscaping. Let's do a little bit of terrain painting. So just like around the house, like a little bit of uh, wear and tear around the edges of the house, just so it's not all like perfectly green. Um, actually here, I probably want to actually do maybe that gravel as well, because this is a spot we'll use. Doesn't have to be like really good, just something like that, to be honest, like that walk here and then it would sort of get kicked around. Maybe we should actually do a little, maybe like a plant or something behind this. Yeah, let's do like just there maybe. I don't know, I felt like it just kind of needed something there. Yeah, that'll do. So you sort of like step down there, the bin's there. Got a little bit of dirt around the side, not a lot, but I think that'll do. And then around the front, I should do a little bit here too. Just like, actually I might do some dried grass kind of look, just so it sort of, yeah, just blends a little bit with everything. And maybe actually around this too, just so it's not so perfect. Maybe a little bit more down the side. And maybe here, because this is where they'd probably step off and like walk and stuff. Yeah. All right, well that's our free house. Completely free to play in real life. Well, you know what, actually one last thing, sorry. These probably should be white, just to match the trim of everything else. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. Completely free. You know what? I think that actually looks pretty dang good. I'm pretty happy with that. Obviously, if I wasn't sticking to this 26k budget, I would do a lot more with the interior. Uh, but that's okay, because I think this has a lot of potential. So if you load it in with a new game and a new family, I think that it's kind of blank enough that you can do whatever you want with it. Uh, and also because it's just pretty much just rectangles, you could easily add more space. Like. If you just build across here, you can turn that into a room, for example. You can turn that into a living room. I think there's a lot of room and a, a really easy to change stuff. And obviously, even if you move it to a bigger lot, like if you put it here, then immediately you could easily expand it. So I think it's got potential. Um, and I think it's a little bit more interesting than just a house flat on the ground as well. So I think that works. I would have liked to do more curtains as well, by the way. <laughs> I would like to do curtains in here, but we don't have the money for it. So that's out of the question. Uh, Outdoor lighting would have been nice too, because if we go to nighttime, it's not real. Oh, you know what? The lights actually provide enough light, so that's okay. But, you know, outdoor lighting would have been nice as well. But overall, I'm pretty happy with this, considering it's purely base game and in a budget for a family. And in general, I think it's a lot more contemporary. 
uh, of a build, which, you know, I was actually kind of thinking, it's kind of interesting because The Sims 4 has been out for, well, this year, nine years. In the time it's been out, architecture trends have changed. So you can actually see when you look back at early builds in The Sims 4, the style of those is just different because of the style of the time. And this, like, like I said, this is pretty much about at least 80% of the new houses being built around where we live look like this. The two main sections, the sort of pitched roof with no eaves. This is it at the moment, at least right here. It's really interesting to see them building all this, especially like the white bricks too, and like the wooden panels. Like I've seen so many houses like that at the moment. But anyway, it's interesting to see that through the, the lens of Sims 4. But thank you so much for watching. If you want to download this house, it'll be on my gallery, James Turner YT. Otherwise I'll link it down below. If you want to find it that way, you can click the link and it'll take you through to the gallery as well. But I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching and have an awesome day.